Greetings. Today we're going to talk about a new USB modem which has hit the global market. Um, this is a modem which we added support for many months ago, uh, about half a year ago, but uh, we decided we'll shoot a video once uh, time was mature. And as it is, uh, this modem is called the Huawei E392, as you can see there. It is the successor to a very successful model called the E398 from Huawei. And the Huawei E398 has been deployed worldwide in many different uh, flavors. Um, and by flavors, I mean frequencies and not just brands, of course. Uh, so the world of 4G has 36 different frequency groups. And you'll find different oddball uh, configurations. So uh, this modem, the E392, uh, at least the one that we have here from Telia Sonera in Scandinavia, has five different frequency groups for LTE, whereas most others will have no more than three. Uh, usually it's two. Uh, so um, this uh, modem works very well with our uh, range of routers. Uh, so for instance, I have the Devato Tiny here, and the Devato Doma, and you all know the Devato 4GR. Um, uh, if I use this cable, for instance, it will help me eliminate issues of Wi-Fi interference because you have issues in most countries where the E392 operates in. Uh, it is uh, working on frequencies such as 2300 megahertz up to 2600 megahertz. And if you all know 4G, uh, sorry, Wi Fi in the routers, they usually have 2400 megahertz. So having them too close to each other, meaning that the modem inside the router, you have issues of interference when you move your laptop away from the router. Uh, what will happen is that the router will, will try to compensate the distance by outputting more power. And when it outputs more power, it will clash with 4G. So the best solution, and this has been noted in all countries where we've had uh, feedback from, is that the, to use the USB cable which comes included with the, with the router. Uh, we always uh, suggest a, a distance of no less than half a meter apart. However, you know, stretch it out all the way if, if, you, if you are having problems. Uh, the other good thing about using the foot stand, the cable, is that you can place the modem at your windowsill where the signal is the strongest. And you can have your router located away from it. So we got very good feedback from users in India who are on the Airtel network, uh, users in Portugal who are on the TMN and the Optimus networks, uh, where else in Finland on the ELISA network, um, there's a whole bunch of countries like Russia also got feedback from yesterday on the Megaphone network so we're, we're getting notified on a weekly basis now of new markets that have, that have uh, this modem um, so we're not, uh, we're not alone here in the Nordics so um, what I'll show now is the, this combination working together so I have uh, connected into the laptop here an Ethernet cable coming into, from the LAN port of the Dvaro Tiny. And I have a speed measurement site which we use here in, in Sweden called Brebanskollen. And I'll do an advanced measurement because I don't trust the regular one. I'll take two threads. And there we go. You can definitely tell it's summer now because a lot of people are using the network. However, you'll notice an interesting thing now. That was the downlink speed. And here's the uplink speed. Okay. And we'll close that close that method and we'll try another method with FTP. I'm going to resume a download where I can do a real-time measurement. Yeah. So as you can see, downloading at 53 megabits. Now if I rotate the modem, yeah, you can see different speeds as I rotate. 
once you found the angle that gives you the highest speed, I say stick to it. Um, this may vary during the day or the year, but uh, this method is usually the safest. And it'll take you a lot less time to find out which way to position the modem. The router itself is capable of up to 82 megabits throughput between the 4G modem and the LAN port. Um, you have to have pretty good radio conditions for that, which we're not getting now. But, um, yeah, and if you, if you use Wi-Fi, you'll get around 40 megabits. If you use the, the standard 20 megahertz wide channel, but if you fiddle with the settings and put on 40 megahertz wide channel, you'll get a lot more speed out of the Wi-Fi. Only provided that all your devices within the Wi-Fi network support that. Okay, thank you.